In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The blood of the holy martyrs was poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore they have gained everlasting rewards. Today we keep the memorial of St. Andrew Kim Taeong priest and Paul Chong Hang Seng and his companions, better known as the Korean martyrs. We remember especially that many of the Korean martyrs were indeed lay people because the church was largely founded upon the laity. And so we pray at this Mass, especially for the laity in this parish and in all of our parishes. We pray that they may have the courage to spread the faith that they have received. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mistress. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. You opened for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and made the blood of the martyrs Saint Andrew, Kim Taeon, and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord that was spoken through Jeremiah, the Lord roused the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, to issue a proclamation and to have it publicly displayed throughout his kingdom. Thus speaks Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has ordered me to build him a temple in Jerusalem in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people May his God be with him. Let him go up to Jerusalem in Judah to build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor, wherever he lives, be helped by the people of that place with silver and gold, with good and cattle, as well as voluntary offerings for the temple of God, which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of families of Judah and of Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, in fact, all whose spirit had been roused by God, prepared to go and rebuild the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. And all their neighbors gave them every assistance with silver, gold, goods, cattle, quantities of costly gifts, and with voluntary offerings of every kind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What marvels the Lord, the Lord worked for us. What, what marvels, marvels the Lord worked for us. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. What marvels, marvels the Lord worked Lord for us. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed, we were glad. What marvels, marvels the Lord worked Lord for us. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears 
will sing when they reap. What marvels the Lord worked for us. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Your light must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one lights a lamp to cover it with a bowl or to put it under a bed. No, he puts it on a lampstand so that people may see the light when they come in. For nothing is hidden, but it will be made clear. Nothing secret, but it will be known and brought to light. So take care how you hear For anyone who has will be given more from anyone who has not. Even what he thinks he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. As we rejoice to share with the Korean martyrs the faith that they professed at such high cost, Let us turn our thoughts and prayers to the needs of all people, those who believe and those who do not. We pray that the church corporate may witness to Christ and all he stood for. May it be united in courageously presenting to the world the good news of freedom from sin and death. Lord, hear us. The world leaders might be set to inspire their hearts not on power, but on every opportunity for the service of the weak and the oppressed. Lord, hear us. For the churches that persecution forces into silence, that their faith may realise that mustard seeds grow in silence. Lord, hear us. Let us remember those who are tortured and dehumanized by instruments of violent power. We pray for the victims and for the oppressors that the sword may be swiftly returned to the scabbard and the wounds of hatred closed. Lord, hear us. We pray also for those who feel that there is nothing worth living or fighting for, that on them Christ may shed a ray of his light to dispel the gloom and warm the indifference into love. Lord, hear us. We pray for our parishes and for our local communities. We pray for all those who live, work, worship, study, or spend their time within this parish. We pray especially for our young people, and especially for the problems of knife, crime, and drugs. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all who are sick and suffering in mind, body, or spirit, For those who suffer alone in silence, for those in our hospitals, hospices and care homes, and for the sick for whom we've been asked to pray, amongst them for Paul, Patricia, Gloria, Beverly, Father David, Richard, Trevor, Stephen, Anne-Marie, Father Charles, Father George, Sydney, Carmen, Jackie, Nicholas, Tom, Estella, Annette, Paul, Lorraine, Patrick, Andrew, Ophelia, Eleanor, Mrs. Reed, Jan, 
Raiden, Anne Peters, Richard, Teresa, Dennis, and Denise. We pray for the recently bereaved, especially for Claudia, for Dorothy, Pauline, Cecilia and Horace, and the Greenridge family. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have departed this life. We pray especially for any who have died alone or afraid or at the hand of another. For the recently departed and amongst them for Marlene, Richard, Ozzy, James, Kazir, Melvin, Henry, Father Terry, Roxy and Jean. For those whose anniversary of death falls at this time, amongst them for Victoria Edwin, Anthony Seymour Ford, Stephen Graham, Imelda Roberts, Vernon Saunders, Dillis Hislop, Shikan, Joyce Duggan, Mark McFarlane, Eamon Williams, Leonard Warren, Gloria Green, Arthur Mead and Lexford Gordon. We pray also for all departed priests, parishioners and benefactors of this parish. Lord, hear us. And so we seek the intercession of all the saints, especially of the Korean martyrs, and chiefly of Our Lady as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord our God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to greater endeavour in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favour, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very offerings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardour to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord, 
Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down upon them your spirit like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope, the bishops of the society, Jonathan our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father, says the Lord. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labour in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.